What's up everybody? This is Brad, aka 2 Fitted, coming to you with another quick video. And today, um, this is a video I've been wanting to make for a little while now. Um, I've had a, quite a few people asking me um, from Facebook when they meet me um, on YouTube, everywhere. Um, just basically asking me why am I um, choosing an Ultima and why did I choose a second Ultima? Um, and it's kind of, I mean, it can be a long story, but I'll basically kind of go over why I've actually selected Ultima as my daily driver. Um, one of the main reasons is it's not something that a lot of car enthusiasts are really into. Plus, I just need a reliable daily driver. I don't need something um, that I'm trying to have fun in for a daily driver. Um, I still have a little bit of fun in there, but... Um, it's really a daily driver and I, I definitely enjoy it it's a nice level of comfort definitely has great gas mileage um, but when I really kind of started getting into cars it was actually just before I got an Ultima so basically um, just before I had my previous Ultima I actually had um, 20 what was it 2011 Chevy Cruze I got that because at the time what I wanted to do was basically have big rims. I was trying to get into that scene, just huge rims. I was going to go with some 22s, um, but before I even got to do that, I actually started having transmission and um, having issues with starter and alternator and it was just one thing after another with that car. And then finally somebody hit it and so while I was waiting for everything with the insurance to kind of be taken care of, um, that's when I kind of started looking around to see what kind of car I wanted to go with after that. Um, it was a rock sucking tire. Um, originally, I was going to go with a Maxima because uh, my homie, T, he had a Maxima and it was on his second. Well, yeah, uh, I think at the time, his second. He's on his third max right now, but I was gonna. Um, he, he really had me interested in it because I saw how loyal he was to the brand, and I was like, "Well, there must be a reason for that." And I've had two Nissans before. I had two Sentras, um, so I'm pretty familiar with Nissan. So figured, hey, let's go with the Max. See what that's about. Started looking around at them. Um, I almost got one. But around the time when I was going to, I needed to get my wife a car too, or help her get a car. So it was either basically get a Max and then she can get something super cheap or I kind of compromise, get something a little cheaper and she'll get a nice car as well. So that's what I went with. Um, started looking at the Ultimas just because they was a similar um, platform and um, I've seen a few here and there, and I was like, the newer body style at the time, which was the last one I had, I thought they looked pretty good. So I started looking up some videos of Ultimas on 20s and customized Ultimas and all that. And then I found two of the homies from the 5th Gen group. Um, it was Mike, found him, and VJ, found them on Instagram. Um, I found VJ first, but they were so close, like, they were neighbors, so they were always hanging out together, and they had all these custom things they was doing to their car, and I was like, wow, I didn't realize you could do so much with the Ultima, and so I kind of really got hooked into it that way. Um, the insurance was taking forever because the lady who hit me tried to deny that she hit me. Then she tried to say she thought all corners were, all the lights were red and we were all taking turns so she kept changing her story so it was taking a lot longer than it should have but uh, once the police report came out it really revealed because the cop was right there when it happened and it revealed what happened so that probably took was it actually yeah, it was from September 11th is when the accident was and I didn't get my Ultima until November 7th so yeah, it took quite some time. Um, yeah, so all, the whole time I'm sitting there doing research, going back and forth on the cars and checking them out, and um, I just kept growing more and more on the Ultima. 
And um, it was kind of crazy because I didn't really look at I looked at the Maxima for a little bit and then the Ultima, I spent months looking at it. So kind of built my anticipation I wanted to get one. So that's what happened. I ended up getting that Max, uh, that Ultima. Um, I really enjoyed the car, felt great. Got some decent mods on it. Didn't get to do everything I wanted to it, but overall I enjoyed it. And uh, when I went to trade that one in, I, it was a little over 100,000 miles and um, just kind of wanted something new. So when I went to do that, it was between the Ultima and the Maxima again. Um, this time I had more money, more opportunity. I was really close to getting a Maxima. But a big thing that kind of helped me make the choice um, to get the Ultima again, um, one was the Midnight package. I like the way this one looks a lot more than I liked on the Maxima. Um, just looked a little different in my opinion. But the biggest factor was I got my coilovers um, and I have the headlight mods from my previous car that I never got to put on that car, so I still have them. And so instead of trying to sell those, um, figured I could use them for these and because I would have to sell them and get another set. And it's like, hey, I already have them. So that's a big reason it kind of helped me stick to this. The insurance was a little bit cheaper. It, was, it wasn't much of a notice, maybe $15 difference. Um, so that didn't really help, but it was mostly just I have my mods that I'm gonna be able to put on there. Now I'm just gonna have to go ahead and do it again. Um, I'm seeing a lot more uh, people modding the Maximus than the Ultima still. Um, so that was another factor. Um, but yeah, I was really, really close to getting a Max this time. Um, let me see. Now, if something else happens, to this car, um, I don't know if I would go with uh, another Ultima. Um, I think the only way I'll go with another Ultima at this time would probably be if there's a refresh in a couple years or so. I mean, I might go with that, but this five, fifth gen platform, if anything happens to this, I'm, I'm kind of done with it for now. Um, but hey, who knows? Also, the deal I got on this, I forgot to mention that, um, they took $7,000 off of this car. So that was a huge incentive right there. So definitely big reason why I jumped with this one. Um, the, it was only the SR, the 2.5 SRs that they took the huge amount off of. So that was the primary reason um, for even starting to look at the SRs again, the 2.5. I was really close to getting the 3.5 but the difference in price from the sales for this and then what that was it was just like no brainer just go with this plus I love the headlights and tail lights um, a lot especially the tail lights that's my favorite part of it but yeah um, this is the main reason um, this is my fourth Nissan I'm definitely happy with the brand um, out of all of them I've had never had an issue with them um, only car I've ever had issues with was my Impala um, I, I've gotten I've only had two new cars it was my 08 Sentra and then this um, these are the only two new cars I've ever had everything else has been a used car um, I had a Kia Rio Kia Rio but um, I didn't have that long because that was more of a buy here pay here and after going over everything I figured nah took it back, got my money back, and just kind of went from there. But, um, yeah, those are, I had a 01 Sentra, which was blue. Then I had, traded that in for 08 Sentra, brand new, that was white. Then I got that Kia Rio, Kia Rio, I don't know, I was Kia Rio. Got that one, that was a really bright blue. Um, then after that, I was basically helping my ex pay for her car, so I was riding that. It was a 2007 Hyundai Elantra. That was a good car. Um, and then from there, that's when I got the Impala, and then that was silver. And then from the Impala, that was 2011, 
I've uh, got the 2013 Java Ultima. It was just an S. I think I'm done with the base models too. Um, I think that was my last base model car. But yeah, that's enough rambling. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any other topics you would like me to kind of cover, just go ahead and throw it in the comment section and we'll go ahead and get to it. But as always, have a good one. Peace.